Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're talking about which video endpoint to put in your conference room, and this is a Tech Talk. All right, we're back and we are talking about which video system to put in your room. Obviously, there's a lot of choices out there. We are talking about the Cisco Video Room Kit. So we're going all the way from the Room Kit Mini all the way to the Room Kit Pro. Now, in talking about all these video systems, they're controlled by a single device and that device is the Touch 10. And so the Touch 10 controls all the video rooms that we're gonna be talking about today, essentially from Room Kit Mini all the way to Room Kit Pro. It essentially is an iPad wrapped in a pretty white box that's plastic. It provides the same interface whether you're on any of the units and so you get that seamless end user experience. When you walk into the room, the buttons all look the same, it's easy to use, it's not intimidating, people have seen iPads before. This is a brand new one and uh, you can see because we got the plastic, ripped the plastic off. So it was brand new, part of our room kit mini here and uh, that's the Touch 10. So the first unit that we're gonna talk about is the room kit mini. Now the room kit mini is much smaller than the room kit and definitely much smaller than the room kit pro and plus camera. Essentially this is for rooms of two to five people. It's gonna be mounted above the TV and the camera's designed for you to be close to it. Now it's got the speaker and microphones all built built into it. So you're not gonna have any table mics. It's gonna make the room really clean. You're gonna have the Touch 10, which we talked about to control the unit. Additionally, you can take a USB connector, connect it to a laptop and extend your microphone, speakers and camera to this unit. So if you're using a software-based client for video conferencing, you can walk into the room, plug in the USB and use it. This can be registered on the cloud or on premise. And we can talk a little bit about the unit itself. So let's move over to the unit and check it out. Now you'll notice that the camera has a 120 degree field of view. There is the speaker bar on the front as well as the microphone array. Looking at it from the top, and this is the back, and the connectivity. The RoomKit Mini has a port for the Touch 10, which provides PoE, a port for the network, which provides network connectivity, a port for your laptop to share content, a port for the display, which provides CEC to automatically turn on the TV. And we've got some USB connections, a power connection, and the on-off switch. The USB, as a note for the RoomKit Mini, will allow you to connect it to a PC and extend your capabilities of the PC, leveraging the camera, the speakers, and the mic of the RoomKit Mini for video conferencing, so you can leverage your laptop. And that's the RoomKit Mini. Let's move on to the Room Kit. Now, the Room Kit is a little bit bigger than the Room Kit Mini. The Room Kit Mini is on top, the Room Kit is down below. Unlike the Room Kit Mini, the Room Kit can support two displays and is built for rooms of up to seven people. So, let's take a closer look at the hardware. Now, the Room Kit has an integrated speaker, integrated microphones, just like the Room Kit Mini, a little larger than the Room Kit Mini because this is built for a larger room. Single camera. So, from the top, we've got the heat vents, just like the Room Kit Mini. The back has the Cisco logo, um, also just kind of a smooth finish to make it look like a fixed appliance. And from the bottom, we've got all of our connections. Now, starting from this side, we've got a USB port that really isn't used in the room kit. We've got a single port for a laptop connectivity, which is for sharing content. Uh, you can also share wirelessly with these units as well. We've got our second display and our first display. So we can support two displays with the room kit. Additionally, we've got our network connectivity port, which connects the device to the network. It can also be connected via wireless. We've got our port for our Touch 10, and this is gonna provide PoE to power up the Touch 10 so that it can be used uh, without providing any additional power. We've got an output here, which can be used for audio reinforcement. This output could go to an amplifier and then go to speakers overhead in the ceiling. We've got two microphone ports here used to connect our microphones. Next to that is our power and our power switch. So that's the room kit. This is the room kit pro and the room kit plus camera array. It is a little bit larger than the room kit and the room kit mini. So if I grab the room kit, as you can see, it is a little bit wider than the room kit. And if I grab the room kit mini, 
you'll see the difference there as well. Now the RoomKit Mini and the RoomKit both have an integrated codec inside the video camera, so it's all in one unit. This is the camera array for the RoomKit Plus and the RoomKit Pro. The RoomKit Plus and the Pro, we're gonna be going through the codec individually. There's the three of the camera arrays and the integrated codecs in these two. So let's take a look at this camera array. This is the camera for the RoomKit Plus and the RoomKit Pro. You'll see in the middle here, we've got three tele lenses and one standalone lens that's facing the front of the room. These are 5K cameras, and we've also got integrated speakers and proximity detecting microphone array in the speaker bar. And what that allows it to do is digitally crop or to digitally frame out the active speaker in the room. So from the top, we've got our traditional heat sinks like we do on a lot of the other video units. From the back, we've got our Cisco logo. And from underneath, we've got all of our ports. Now, unlike the units we previously showed, this camera is independent from the codec. The RoomKit Mini and the RoomKit all have integrated codecs with them. In the RoomKit Plus and the RoomKit Pro, there is a secondary codec that's outside of the camera. So the primary connections that we're gonna use to connect the camera are this HDMI port to connect it back to the codec so it gets video signal to the codec, camera control, which allows the codec to, to control the camera and update software, and the power connection. Additionally, there is an on-off switch, and there's other ports as well that can be used for additional capabilities and features and functions of the unit. So that's the camera for the RoomKit Plus and the RoomKit Pro. Let's take a look at the RoomKit Plus codec in more detail. So I've got the RoomKit Plus codec. Now this comes with the kit. It is a smaller size codec. It could be mounted on the wall or set on a shelf. And it's good for rooms of up to 14 people. So let's take a look at the ports in more detail. So this is the codec for the RoomKit Plus. This is the top of the codec. We've got a power indicator here. From the front of the unit, you'll see that it's just a clean white front bezel. The bottom has the ability for you to mount it on the wall or to set it on a shelf. We have a fan here for cooling. And from the back of the unit, we have all of our ports for connectivity. We have our power switch, our power connection, a lock port if we need to secure the unit, a ethernet port for our touch 10, which also provides PoE, a network port, which connects this to the network, a port for the camera, which we showed the camera port that plugs into this. We have our HDMI port, which connects to the camera. And we have two inputs that allows us to connect a laptop or two laptops or an additional source here. We also have two outputs, which is monitor one and monitor two, USB connections, a service port, three microphone inputs, and a single output for audio reinforcement. So that's the RoomKit Plus. Okay, last but not least, we've got our RoomKit Pro. So let me grab that. And as you can see, well, you probably can't see, but hold on. The RoomKit Pro is a little bit bigger than the RoomKit Plus. So you can see how the RoomKit Plus could go behind a TV easily fit in that space, whereas the RoomKit Pro would be a little tougher for it to fit. Now, they're both good for large rooms. If there is a larger room where you need three TVs, it's an automatic upgrade to the RoomKit Pro versus the Plus. Or if you need additional microphone inputs, any of that stuff, that's why you would go with the Pro versus the Plus. All right, so let's take a look at the RoomKit Pro in more detail. This is the top, where we've got our Cisco logo here. From the front, we've got a, a vent port here that allows airflow and the Cisco logo. From the bottom, traditional bottom, we've got a vent port there. And the back of the RoomKit Pro, we've got six speaker outputs, eight microphone inputs, and a GPIO port used for automation, a communications port used for control. Moving down to the HDMI ports, we have three HDMI inputs, which could take in content from a laptop or any other HDMI source that you would like to share. We have two camera inputs. This could be used for a camera at the front of the room and a presenter track camera at the back of the room. Additionally, we have three TV outputs, which could be used for a TV, a left front TV, a right front TV, and a presenter screen in the back of the room, as an example. Additionally, we have one additional camera port, which can be used to support a third camera. 
And these are the USB ports. And we've also got our networking ports. And so this connects to our network connectivity. This connects to our camera for control. And these two ports provide PoE. Now, if you wanted to connect two Touch 10s to each of these PoE ports, you could do that to support two Touch 10 units in the room. We have our power connector and our power switch. That is the RoomKit Pro codec. All right, so we covered a lot. We started out with the RoomKit Mini and we worked all the way up to the RoomKit Pro. We talked about the Touch 10 and the seamless end user experience it provides as you walk into a room and just that ease of use usability. The things that we didn't talk about, mainly because it applies to all of the room systems or the room kit systems, and the first being CEC. Now CEC is a technology that turns on and off the TVs, and so it gives you that experience when you walk into the room, you touch the Touch 10, it automatically turns the TVs on, and when you leave the room and it goes to sleep, it automatically turns the TVs off. You need to have TVs that support CEC, and uh, it's supported across all the codecs like we said before. So the second thing is proximity. Now what proximity enables you to do is wirelessly share content from your laptop. So you walk into the room, the system recognizes you, and you can just share content without plugging in a cable. So the third thing is registration. Now you can register any of these units either on-premise or in the cloud. Now that gives you a lot of flexibility from a deployment perspective. Speaking of deployments, we've done a ton of these. So we've deployed room kits, we've done the room kit pro, we've talked about speaker track. And if you wanna see any of those videos, we're gonna put some of those links down below so you can check all of those out if you've got more interest. So that's it, we covered a lot today. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment and make sure you hit the like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we'll see you on the next Tech Talk.